Half of a degree. Doesn't sound like much, does it? When you tweak your heating at home by half a degree, it doesn't feel very different. But for our planet, where life has depended on a stable climate for millennia, half a degree Celsius is a very big deal. Every fraction of a degree matters, especially to nature, already under pressure. For instance, the warmer the world gets, the more coffee suffers from heat and disease. 100 million people could lose their incomes, and billions of us will also lose our favorite drink. The hotter the world becomes, the harder things get for our pollinator friends. Already damaged by pesticides and disease, overheating could be the last straw for many of our vital bumblebee species. For emperor penguins, the world's biggest penguin is also one of the most vulnerable. They depend on Antarctic fast ice, so if global temperatures continue to rise as they are today, emperor penguin populations could decline dramatically, whereas 1.5 would secure their future. We've already lost half the planet's tropical reefs in just the past 30 years. Even if the world warms by only 1.5 degrees, that's enough to kill anywhere between 70 to 90 percent. But at two degrees, it's likely that all warm water coral reefs will die. Already vulnerable, snow leopards are seeing their habitat shrink as their snowy landscape warms up. As their food supplies get low, they turn more to livestock, bringing greater conflict with local people. The six years since the Paris Climate Change Agreement have been the hottest ever recorded. The more we delay cutting greenhouse gas emissions, the higher the risk for people and nature. We know the 1.5 degree target won't be easy. It will require huge changes to energy and farming and the way we all live our lives. That's why we need a bold, clear, urgent commitment to 1.5 degrees.